Welcome to USA Breaking News Today. Please subscribe and click notification box to get all breaking news alert. Breaking news today, Russian retaliation mapped, diplomats expelled as West turns on Putin, countries around the world have united with the UK over the attack on former Russian spy and double agent Sergei Skripal, with a mass expulsion of Vladimir Putin's envoys from their nations. Australia is the latest to announce their solidarity with the UK over the chemical attack on Mr Skripal and his daughter in Salisbury on March 4 as Prime Minister Malcolm Turnbull announced Canberra would be expelling two Russian diplomats. Australia joins 21 other countries including the USA, Germany, France, Poland and Ukraine in expelling the Russian envoys. Donald Trump on Monday said the US would expel 60 Russian diplomats and close its Russian consulate in Seattle. More than 100 Russian diplomats have been expelled across Europe, the US and other parts of the world in the biggest Western expulsion of Russian diplomats since the height of the Cold War Mr. Turnbull announced in a statement, together with the United Kingdom and other allies and partners, Australia is taking action in response to the recent nerve agent attack in Salisbury, UK. Two Russian diplomats identified as undeclared intelligence officers will be expelled by the Australian government for actions inconsistent with their status, pursuant to the Vienna Conventions. Foreign Minister Julie Bishop said other options, such as Australia boycotting the 2018 World Cup in Russia, could also be taken over the poisoning incident. Ms Bishop told reporters in Canberra, there are a whole range of further options of action that could be taken. The boycott of the World Cup is one of the further actions that could be taken in relation to this matter. Yesterday White House spokesman Raj Shah said, the poisoning in the UK that has kind of led to today's announcement was a very brazen action. It was a reckless action. The president wants to work with the Russians but their actions sometimes don't allow that to happen. Meanwhile, Germany's foreign office in Berlin in a statement said, we have expelled four Russian diplomats from Germany because after the poison attack in Salisbury Russia is still not contributing to solving what happened. Germany's Foreign Minister Heiko Maas added, We did not make the decision to expel the Russian diplomats lightly. With this we are also sending a sign of solidarity to Great Britain. Russia remains required to finally fulfill its responsibility to take up a constructive role and fulfill its duty to provide clarification. Boris Johnson responded on Twitter saying that Monday's extraordinary international response by our allies stands in history as the largest collective expulsion of Russian intelligence officers ever and will help defend our shared security. Moscow has denied responsibility for the March 4 attack on Mr. Skripal and his daughter, the first known offensive use of a nerve toxin in Europe since World War II. The Russian ambassador to Washington hit back at the U.S. explosion saying America was destroying what little is left of relations with Russia. And the Russian foreign ministry in a statement blasted the countries who had provocatively chosen to stand in solidarity with London. The ministry said, this provocative gesture of notorious solidarity with London, made by countries that preferred to follow in London's footsteps without bothering to look into other circumstances of the incident, merely continues the policy of escalating the confrontation. A Russian foreign ministry source also said Russia will respond to the EU countries who have expelled Moscow diplomats symmetrically in the coming days, according to state media. Before yesterday's announcement Russian Foreign Ministry spokeswoman Maria Zakharova launched a scathing attack on the EU over support for the Brexit Britain position that Moscow was highly likely behind the attack on Mr Skripal. Ms Zakharova said, a country leaving the European Union is exploiting the factor of solidarity and forcing the remaining countries to spoil relations with Russia. Nobody has cancelled Brexit. Divorce procedures are well in progress. When London leaves the EU, it will have no obligations within the framework of a common foreign policy. It may either seek a rapprochement or drift away still farther away at its sole discretion. As for the countries remaining in the European Union, they will be bound hand and foot by collective commitment to anti-Russian solidarity the British had once imposed on them. Thanks for watch please share like comment this video and subscribe channel for latest news.